Good morning. My name is Staphylococcus aureus, but you can call me Staph. I'm a bacterium that is currently living on your skin, in your nose, in your genitalia, in your mouth, and even in the hearts of some of you. You might hate me, call me ugly names like germ, bug, but remember, I still love you. You provide me with food, shelter, place to regenerate myself, and even a place to excrete my waste products. I love you, human beings. There are seven billion humans, and for every human being, there are trillions of us bacteria. But you can't see us, at least not with your naked eye. You humans are very arrogant. You think you control the world with your science and technology. But do you really think you're the master? You've been in this world for only, let's say, about 200,000 years. That's a blip in the timeline of the universe. We've been around for billions of years. Survived harsh ice ages, meteor strikes. We saw the rise and fall of dinosaurs. We saw oceans fade, mountains rise. You know who will survive if there's a nuclear holocaust? That's right, us. <laughs> We're not bad beings. Mostly, we like to live peacefully in your body. We just take some nutrients to feed ourselves and our colonists, just like you do. Okay, sometimes we get carried away and migrate deeper into your bodies, where the pickings are better. And after we finish that feeding frenzy, we secrete waste into your body, which sadly makes you very hot. You even try to throw us out of your body with repeating coughing, urination, and diarrhea. Usually you recover and it's a win-win for you and us. But sometimes it's a lose-lose. You die from our infection and we lose our home. Although you provide lots of good eating for other bacteria, even when you're dead. All in all, things were going pretty well for us until this poison, this crazy evil thing called antibiotics, came along. Ah, uh, let's talk about antibiotics. One day, my friend had a wonderful opportunity to explore the bloodstream of man she was living in during a surgery to remove his appendix. She was enjoying all the proteins when suddenly this penicillin came and started destroying her cell wall. Needless to say, she did not survive, as we have only one cell. As if penicillin wasn't enough, you humans started producing more villains like cephalosporins, aminoglycosides, and fluoroquinolones. For more than 50 years, we suffered serious calamities at the hands of these antibiotics. Initially, they would just destroy our cell walls. Later, they started tearing our DNA apart, destroying our proteins, shredding our nuclei. You almost defeated us, but then you humans grew more arrogant and less thoughtful. In your vicious killing spree, you forgot that we can fight back. You started bombarding us with the same antibiotics again and again. even when it wasn't us bacteria, but rather tiny viruses tickling your nose and making you sneeze. You used penicillin to fight them. Ah! Are you kidding me? Those teeny viruses don't even have a cell wall. Because of your injudicious use, we found out how your antibiotics work. We started producing beta-lactamase. Bye-bye, penicillin. We developed mechanisms to throw your drugs out of our cells. We even found ways to inactivate your poisons. Slowly but surely, we're becoming resistant, and we love it. Today, most of your antibiotics still work. There will be a day when none of your poisons will harm us. Nothing will destroy our colonies. Imagine a world without antibiotics. That's our fairy tale ending. A world where bacteria can live happily ever after.